So excuse the appearance, but I thought this would actually make kind of an interesting video. I need to go through all my first aid stuff and because I have horse two, like two horses at different properties, I have two first aid kits and I have been using stuff and like haven't replaced it. So I just want to show you guys what I've got and I'm going to put a list up in the description of the stuff that I would like replenish. Interesting if you're like kind of bored and don't have anything to do like I do. So the first thing I have in my kit is dressings. So these are the what you put on like the actual wounds for these little things. So these you can get from the chemist or like a um, stock feeders that all have these. It is cheaper to get it from the stock feeders I find rather than the chemist. The little pads that go on wounds. So I've got big ones for big wounds and then small ones for small wounds. I have some medicated poultice. This is, I'm gonna say ulcers in the feet and it's like that's not what they're called. Some faded iron wash or like Quidditch wash. Um, it's like a solution that goes in the nail holes and then in your horse's feet. Baby powder for bandage rubs. Got some normal bandages. Actually got two scalpels to cut dressings off. Some needles, which are important. Some gloves, stethoscope. And then moving on to my main kit, which has got most of the stuff in it. Alcohol swabs and alcohol spray for giving injections. That's not really essential, but I do all my own injections. A compress. Again, for wounds, swab things to put ointment on, vet wrap, bandages, this is mostly, and a sling, which is for me, but in case we have a snake bite or I break my arm or something. More steri pads, or like bandaged pads. And then cotton wool, which you use underneath a bandage, or like underneath vet wrap. I've got animal lintex poultice, which is again for abscesses. More bandage pads. And some more cotton wool roll. These elastoplast bandages were quite expensive, but they're really, really good for wrapping over bandages, especially in the winter. Cotton wool wrap again. And then more cotton wool wrap. I have syringes for injections or butte. More little swab things. And then I've got some excess cotton wool or like gauze wrap. Um, which I didn't end up using for now. The gauze pads in here to put ointment on and clean wounds, which they're not terribly sterile, but obviously put in like betadine or something that would be fine to use. Those little swab fingers, uh, vet wrap and some more elastic bars. This is the size I use, they're different to that. Wants to focus. So that's the size, the size that I usually use for the horses. It's not too big, but it's big enough to get the job done. This is really good if you have a wound with um, proud flesh on them. You just put it on, it's kind of got like jelly stuff in it. It helps like keep the wound nice and um, moisturized. I have some antibiotic ointment left over from Nelly, which is flamazine. Some of the things that I will be replacing in here is obviously restocking on vet wrap, which I don't have a lot of. Um, restocking up on uh, like injectables. So personally, I like to keep B1 in my kit because it's uh, thiamine. So if I have a horse that's really, really nervous or something, I generally give them some of this, which always helps. And I also keep B12, which is kind of similar, but different. It just helps with um, like muscle recovery and energy levels. The thing I need to get is obviously electrolyte paste for if they're colicking. And uh, it's um, another paste called BioSponge, which is what you use if they've had like uh, poisoning or they've eaten like weeds or something. It's basically like a paste you give them and it helps settle their gut. Here's one kit finished from the stuff that I have. So some of the things that I've added is uh, like antibacterial wound spray. Um, I have, I probably need to get uh, like for horses that don't like spray, like cream. I have a pair of scissors as well, which is very important for cutting things. Are my 
Pocket kits done. If you guys like this video, I can definitely do more like this. I will put the description of the stuff that I use and also didn't have in this video, which I'm replacing, obviously, because that's why I'm going through it. I will see you in the next video and I uh, hope you enjoyed. Feel free to comment any suggestions down below because I'm struggling for ideas. Like, not gonna lie, I am really struggling.